Hey there everyone, if you're new to this channel, my name is Ian Teo and I'm the Investor Realtor and today it's a new year of 2021 and I'll be sharing with you a brand new era that's coming to the real estate market and of course with every new era there comes new opportunities. So stay tuned because I know you won't want to miss out on this. <laughs> All right, so what am I going to be exactly sharing with you? Just let me put it up so you can take a look. All right, so right now, of course, we are in a new year. They are, we are in a new era that's also coming up in the real estate market. And of course, with every new era that comes, there are new opportunities. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about this development that's coming up in Bugis, you may have heard about it or you may not. It's called Meat Town Modern, right? So if you've heard about it, do me a favor. Before I share in depth on what is happening right there in the area, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that share button as well so I can reach out to more people and share this great, amazing content so everybody can benefit from this new opportunity. So just as a disclaimer, all this is for informational and educational purposes only. All right, this is not any investment advice, but I can tell you what I'm about to share with you will be very beneficial. All right, so first thing about it, there's many catalysts about Midtown Modern that makes it such a banger for me in my book. So the first thing is that it's a one-of-a-kind development. So what do I mean? It's actually going to be an integrated development, a work-live-play concept, right? Midtown Modern is actually just one part of a mega integrated development with 1.5 million square feet of total gross uh, area and it is actually sprawling over an expensive 3.2 hectares uh, of prime land. You just imagine this is their own town and this area is so big the developer will actually be building roads inside the development purely for this residence here, all right? This is how big this area is gonna be. It's gonna be a mini town right smack in the heart of the city. Now, this work live play concept is not just a residential, which is Midtown Modern. We have Midtown Square, all right? A communal area where people can come and gather. We have the Midtown Market, all right? Where there's a lot of retail and f and all right? And also just wanna share, there's gonna be 770,000 square foot of premium grade A office space with flexible and efficient floor plate. And guess who's all the big boys are gonna be there, right? Every time we see all these mega uh, tech companies coming into Singapore, setting up HQ's regional quarters here, this one is something that I think they wouldn't want to miss out. And of course, with every integrated development by this particular developer, which I'll be sharing with you, they are very focused on the greenery and landscaping, all right? They want to make sure you're not just living in a city, you're living in a place called the Garden City of Singapore. So some of you might be thinking, what's the difference between a mixed development and an integrated development, right? You probably heard of the two before. So mixed development, usually there's a residential and com commercial component. Residential will take up a minimum of 60% of the gross floor area. Commercial will be 40%, all right? And the commercial area is usually owned by either the developer themselves or the developer will just sell it as strata units to individuals. And you know, it's usually just another com condominium development, right? Nothing too special, just that it has probably shops and retail downstairs. But an integrated development, now this is where something special comes in. All right, this is not just residential or commercial, right? These are multiple functional blocks, offices, retail, residential, transport facilities, right? And usually they house a lot of high-end retail and grade A offices, usually also managed by the developer. And whenever things are managed by the developer, there's only one owner who controls everything, so he can determine also, um, you know, who are the tenants that's going to be there, all right? What kind of tenants are going to be there? You don't expect uh, any old Tom, Dick and Harry, all right, to go out to fair price and ask them to rent their space. But when it's a big time developer, they can get big time tenants to also come in, all right? And of course, for this integrated development, there's actually going to be an urban park. It's going to be directly accessible to the MRT and bus interchanges. And there's going to be an entire ecosystem development right here in the Midtown area. 
So, of course, what are the benefits of an integrated development? Now, firstly, there's going to be enhanced connectivity, right? Everything is just within a short walk away. And because of this, there's unparalleled convenience, especially when working from home is going to be a brand new thing. Having everything that's integrated is going to be a blessing to you. And of course, because of all the savings that you're going to get from not owning a car, this is going to be one of the, the, the things that you want to look out on. And I think the best savings that no money can buy is time, right? This is the most precious resource that all of us have. And of course, being so convenient, being integrated, all right, being so beautiful, it will also attract a higher demand from tenants, from buyers, from investors. All right, look at all the previous integrated developments. And of course, there's a lot of scarcity. Currently, there are only a limited five integrated developments within the CBD area. And I want to share this concept with you that convenience commands a premium. Now, how do I know this? Take a look at Grab, Deliveroo, Rate Mart, 7-Eleven, et cetera, et cetera. All these places, the items that they sell, the services that they provide are much more expensive than what you can get outside. But the one key difference is that they bring convenience and consumers pay for the convenience. Now, so you can already see, even for real estate-wise, the same thing happened, right? A report that was actually done and they showed you that buyers are actually willing to pay more just for integrated developments because of the convenience, all right? Number two catalyst is the transformations that's coming up. Now, Boogies, all right, where this Midtown Modern is located, is undergoing a huge transformation, okay? And why do I always share about transformations? Now, we look at the before and after photos. This was the Marina Bay transformation, right? From a plot of land that was empty to something so beautiful right now in our CBD that we can be so proud of as Singaporeans. And why am I sharing this? Take a look at the prices. On the left, you can see the, the areas where the transformation actually happened. Prices move up 347%, right? In on the right, you can see areas that are just peripheral to the transformation. There was still a spillover effect and prices soared 287%. Now, this is the power of transformations. When the government is pumping in millions and millions of dollars, you don't want to just turn a blind eye to that. All right. Another one that you might have heard of is the Jurong Innovation District Transformation. All right. You can see that Jurong prices, ever since it was announced, Jurong prices have increased over 163%. And the thing here is this, this transformation is only halfway done. It's only halfway done. Just imagine how much more you can go to, right? Now, why am I sharing all this is because the developer, all right, of this development is Guacoland. And very interestingly, the Guacoland Group Managing Director of Singapore, all right, Mr. Chen Sing Yao, okay, he, prior to joining Guacoland, he actually held a lot of leadership positions in, number one, the Centre of Livable Cities, part of the Ministry of National Development, the Urban Redevelopment Authority, URA. All right, these are all places in the government bodies or, you know, in the, in the public sector that actually deal with transformations, that deal with development, all right? And you can see that Guaco land, right? They were very, very, very invested into this Bugis area that they're in, all right? And Mr. Cheng Sing Hao, he was highly involved in a lot of the areas for future de developments on the government level. So now what I am going to ask you is this, okay? Could he have known that something big was coming out in Bugis. You let me know. Type it down in the comment section. Do you think he probably knows something big is coming up? That's why Guaco Land is doubling down in the Bugis area. I think there's something that's coming up. So what is it that's coming up? Now, let me just share with you the history of our current CBD. All right, so the current place in Raffles Place, you can see in 1960s, that was how it looks like. 1980s uh, period, they were actually building the Raffles Place MRT, the iconic one that we all know of, all right? And 2020, that's where we are right now, the current CBD that we're at. So this was the whole transformation of our CBD. And because of this transformation, prices increased about 340%. All right, but you can see in recent years, especially from 2008 onwards, the prices in District 1, where our main CBD is, is very flat. All right, you can see from the red dotted line, it's very flat. All right, prices are not moving any much because their place is not developing significantly anymore. All right. In fact, 
if we look at Bugis right now, okay, Bugis last time in the 1960s, it was just a street, a lot of road store hawkers, all right. In 1990s, it was still some sort of a, uh, you know, a street marketplace where uh, teenagers used to buy fashion clothes. But look at the future of Bugis that they have been plotted out by the URA. Look at it. It's a total, total transformation. And I want to share with you, Bugis, the prices have moved up over 432%. And it actually accelerated during the recent years. You can take a look. There is a paradigm shift between Bugis and our current CBD. Right? Our current CBD prices move up only about 3%, but Bugis during the same period move up 153%. 153%. Now, this is why I believe that something big is coming up in the Bugis area. There's a paradigm shift. All right, no longer is our traditional CBD going to be the CBD already, all right? The CBD of the future could be Bugis. And that is why Guaco Lan, all right, Mr. Ching Sing Hao, he probably knows something about this during his stint, all right, in URA, you know, with the MND. Or right? he probably knows something. That's why Guaco Lan is doubling down on this area. Now, even analysts, all right, have predicted that Bugis will overtake Orchard as the new prime residential district in Singapore, okay? And not only this, I'm going to be sharing with you three other game-changer transformations in the Bugis area, all right? The first one uh, is going to be the Ophio Rocho Corridor. So what is this, okay? So they are actually transforming Bugis and Beach Road area into a second, like, tech hub. Right, we've seen in the newspaper Alibaba coming to Singapore, Shopee setting up a new uh, this uh, business here. Right, Google, all right, uh, search brain. He actually also coming to Singapore to set up even more offices. So you see, multiple multiple tech companies are coming into Singapore. So this Ocho Real Food Corridor, I don't want to uh, occupy too much time to share about it. All right. If you want me to do an in-depth analysis on another video, all right, so that this will not take two to three hours long, let me know in the comments, all right? But basically, the Ophir Rojo Corridor will comprise of integrated developments with office, hotel, retail, entertainment, and residential users. It's going to be a work-life play, all right? This is going to be a new office cluster for the financial and business institutions, all right? And it will, based on what's been stated in the URA, it will complement the existing uh, financial district that we already have in the CBD. So this is going to be like an extension to it, all right? And you can see that multiple investors are betting big on Bugis, all right? Numerous headlines show this as well, all right? The second game changer transformation that's coming up in the, in the Bugis area is the Kampong Bugis transformation. Now, this place is huge, okay? It's an 8.29 hectare site. It's going to be a lifestyle hub, all right? There's going to be a rejuvenation of the area, plenty of opportunity to build new residential homes, all right? There's going to be working spaces, which means there's going to be commercial activity. There's recreation and community spaces as well. And this precinct, I can tell you, is going to be very, very, very nice. Very, very, very exciting. Okay, so Kampong Bugis transformation, okay? It's going to be three times uh, the Singapore uh, River site. And one thing I want to highlight is the Kampong Bugis area is actually a white site land. Now, in Singapore, uh, URA master plan, if you've heard about it, the entire map is color-coded. Now, you don't have to know all the colors. I just need you to know one color today. All right, white color is the most precious land in the entire Singapore. It's the most precious land in Singapore, and the entire Kampong Bugis area is a white land site. This 8.29 hectares is an entire white land site. So you just imagine how much potential there is. All right, and the final game changer that I want to share with you is this Greater Southern Waterfront. You probably have heard about it, um, you know, when Lee Sing Long actually shared about it during budget 2019. But let me tell you, this was actually first announced in 2013. Now, if you've been following me, all right, I've always been giving up good, hot, tips, all right, even before the main majority of people find out. So listen carefully, all right, because everything I'm going to share with you today is going to be new information, exciting, and it's going to benefit you uh, amazingly. So the Greater Southern Waterfront is going to be six times the size of Marina Bay. This is a 2,000 hectare transformation that stretches from Labrador Park to Marina South. Similarly, live, work, play concept, very, very exciting. And, and uh, the Midtown Modern is going to be a part of this uh, extraction of a transformation as well. All right. 
Another thing about the Bugis area, there's a huge, rich cultural scene, right? I'm going to be talking about third catalyst right now. So we can see that in the Bugis area, there are a lot of old shop houses and new like office, residential building. It's a very good mix of old meets new. All right, and as the place develops, of course, some place will get conserved, some place will get transformed, some place will be rejuvenated, and it will become, you know, very, very different from what we know of right now. And why do investors, buyers, and tenants love Bugis? It's because there's a mix of culture within this area, right? There's good food, good music, all right? You want low end to high end things, everything can be found there. Fourth catalyst for Midtown Modern is this accessibility is fantastic. All right, it's a six minutes drive to the CBD, nine minutes drive to Orchard, 13 minutes to Changi. Amazing, short distance everywhere. All right, and it's proximity to not one, not two, not three, not four, but 11 MRT stations. Okay, and it's connected to four different MRT lines. Amazing connectivity. If you're a tenant, right, this would be your number one pick if you're given a choice. Take a look at this, all right? Two stops, MRT, you get to the, the current CBD. Three MRT stops, you get to Orchard. Three MRT stops, you get to the Marina Bay area. All right, and you have direct access east or west. Direct access. Now, why do people like the blue line is also, take a look at this. You can see Bugis, all right? Within a few stops, you can get to all these areas, right? Within a short journey in the MRT. You don't even have to drive. The fifth catalyst is that there's a proven developer. Now, who is Guaco Lenla? I shared with you already about, um, you know, Mr. Heng Xing Xiao's uh, background. Guaco Land is actually under the Hong Leong Group, all right? They've been in operation since 1978, and of course, they've been an award-winning uh, uh, developer, right, with many uh, accolades under their belt. All right, so these are all the things I can spend a lot of time sharing, but I think you get my point. Six catalysts that I have is the rentability, okay? Take a look at this. This data is just, sh is just showing you that more and more Singaporeans and PRs are actually renting. It has actually steadily increased over the past five years. In fact, 9% of total residents are renting, all right? This is not even including the foreigners that are coming in, right? Now we see they want more PMATs to come into Singapore. Guess where, where they're going to be? They're not going to go to the outskirts. They're not going to go to the suburb areas. They're going to be staying at somewhere hip and new near the city. And Midtown Modern, I can tell you when it's developed, this place will definitely attract and draw their eyes. All right. So for investors out there, if you want to take note, you know, what is the best unit type for investment? I already did the research for you. Okay, we can see that. Um, you know, tenants tend to prefer unit types from 500 to 700 square feet. These have the highest demand and that will give you the best bang for the buck in terms of rentability, all right? And what kind of developments do tenants like? They like newer ones, all right? Things they are not too old, especially, all right? Anything five to 10 years is, has a higher demand, all right? Anything after 10 years, the demand drops drastically, okay? Number seven catalyst and the last catalyst I'm going to share with you is the sensitive pricing, all right? You might think that this place is going to be asking for out of the world prices, but I can tell you the developer is pricing it very sensitively. A one bedroom, all right, in Midtown Modern for integrated development, you can easily get it for 1.1 mil, all right? And I just want to put into context with you, already HDBs in the prime area are transacting for a million dollars or more. So what more about a fantastic development right smack in the Bugis area with a huge transformation potential and capital upside, all right, that you cannot even imagine. Think about that, all right? 1.1 mil for one bedroom, two bedroom, 1.4 mil, three bedroom, 2.2 mil. Now, this is one of the biggest, most exciting developments that I can say is going to be coming up for this new year. All right, I share with you the new era of Bugis and the new opportunities you can get through Midtown Modern. So just want to summarize everything. Midtown Modern is an integrated development, right? There's convenience and there's a lot of scarcity. There's not a lot of integra integrated developments in Singapore, especially in the CBD area. Okay, the Bugis transformation, the Kampong Bugis transformation, the Greater Southern Waterfront transformation, 
All right, there's cultural and heritage diversity, superb accessibility and convenience, a proven developer, all right, who possibly even has insights to what's coming up in this area, the amazing rentability, and of course, the most fantastic thing that all Singaporeans like, a sensitive pricing. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this very short, very quick, very exciting sharing that I had for you. I hope you learned a lot, you benefited a lot. My name is Ian Tio. My number is on the screen, 9759-2826. All right, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.